Ethereum 2.0, or the merge, is just another name for Ethereum's transition to proof of stake. This video will explain the transition, explain why it is taking place, go over the advantages of Ethereum 2.0, dispel certain myths, and explain how it could end Bitcoin's dominance. So stick with us until the end not to miss out on crucial info. Hello and welcome to the channel. Please do smash that like and subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss out on important upcoming videos. To understand, we said it better. Ethereum 2.0 is the label given to a collection of changes coming to the Ethereum network, not a brand new asset. As part of the initial modifications, Ethereum will combine with the beacon chain and switch from a proof of work POW consensus to a proof of stake consensus. Additional enhancements, including sharding, will trickle out over the next years. What precisely is merging? The beacon chain ETH2 consensus layer and the Ethereum network ETH1 execution layer will combine. Parallel to Ethereum is a different network called the beacon chain. Ethereum currently employs a proof of work methodology to verify blocks. In this paradigm, validators contend for the right to create the following block. Following the merge, only the beacon chain using a proof-of-stake methodology will be able to generate blocks for Ethereum. The proof-of-work Ethereum model will be discontinued forever. All block validating work will be actively coordinated by the beacon chain, which will choose validators at random. A brief comparison of proof-of-stake and proof-of-work. The two most common consensus procedures used in cryptocurrencies to vouch for and add transactions to the blockchain are proof-of-stake and proof-of-work. Proof of work made famous by Bitcoin entails validators competing for the ability to validate and create blocks by utilizing enormous amounts of computing power to solve mathematical puzzles. For each new block produced, POW validators receive compensation. In contrast, proof of stake is a consensus process in which users of a network are required to stake a portion of their assets that underlies the network to take part in network security. When will Ethereum 2.0 be available? When will Ethereum transition to a stake-based model? We anticipate ETH2 will launch in 2022 since the Ethereum development community is making good strides. The Ethereum merging schedule was updated by the Ethereum core developers with a potential launch date sometime around the week of September 19, 2022, as of July 2022. Over the past few months, there have been three testnets slated for the merger and two of them have already been combined successfully. Around August 11th, the final testnet is expected to be merged. The integration of the Ethereum mainnet will be the only thing left after that. We're so close. Here's how Ethereum's transition to proof of stake will work. The beacon chain will randomly choose a set of validators or stakers and assign responsibilities every 12 seconds. The group makes up 1 by 30 second of the network stakeholder population. Currently, this would mean a group of over 12,000. The block proposer will be one of the chosen validators. Once a block has been submitted by the block proposer, the other validators who were chosen are referred to as attesters because they will vouch for its legitimacy. Every time a new block is made, a new block proposer will be selected. Each group will have several chances to suggest a block. A block proposer must pay a fine if they engage in any improper behavior. This is referred to as slashing. Participants are rewarded for their stakes, but if a staker engages in a malevolent activity, such as proposing or attesting several blocks for the same place in the chain, they run the danger of losing some or all of their stake. This is how the protocol defends against an invading force. All block rewards and transaction fees earned by the network go to the people who stake their ETH to protect it, excluding all fees burned by the network due to EIP-1559. It doesn't matter if you were part of the selected group of participants, you still receive incentives because they are distributed equally among the stakeholder pool. So yes, that's how it would work. How about we talk about Ethereum's reason for deciding to move to proof-of-stake? The switch to proof-of-stake for Ethereum will have many advantages, including decreased centralization and increased efficiency, scalability, and security. Number 1. Increased energy efficiency The power required to secure the Ethereum network will be reduced by 99.95%. Number 2. Less Dependency on Specialized Hardware Currently, Ethereum's proof-of-work algorithm heavily relies on graphics GPUs with high output. In addition to being expensive to replace, reliance on these results in unforeseen supply chain dynamic dependencies. In contrast, using a standard laptop to help secure the network after the merge makes the necessary hardware much more accessible. Number 3. 
lower chance of centralization. Anyone can become a staker since no specialized hardware is required. A chain becomes more durable the more people take part in security. Economies of scale are a minor factor because of the lower power consumption and simpler hardware needs. Based on their high energy use, miners can be located on a map as proof of work. Proof of stake uses less energy, making it harder to easily target participating nodes. Number 4. Greater resistance to attacks. Economic sanctions for misconduct, such as slashing, make it considerably more expensive for bad actors to try attacks than it is to provide evidence of their labor. Attackers can be taken out of the staker pool and only added back in after a few weeks. In addition, there are financial consequences for submitting poor blocks and other wrongdoings. Number 5 opens up more scalability opportunities. Proof of stake is a game where all nodes play cooperatively rather than competitively. This creates additional opportunities for scaling by laying the groundwork for sharding. The beacon chain already coordinates across all validators, therefore starting to coordinate consensus across diverse networks. Shards only need a simple adjustment. Number 6. Significantly lowered ETH issuance. Stakers won't need as much ETH to be rewarded for taking part in network security because gear will be far less expensive and use significantly less energy. The amount of ETH issued will decrease from 4.3% to 0.43%. That represents a 90% decrease. This represents a significant change in Ethereum's underpinnings as an asset. This could result in the deflation of the Ethereum asset, along with the burning of ETH since EIP-1559. What message are we to get from all of this? Keep an open mind on Ethereum. What is Ethereum aiming at? Following Bitcoin, the second largest blockchain network has emerged as the primary location for some of the most popular cryptocurrency ideas, including non-fungible tokens and decentralized finance, DeFi, NFT. Due to the network's popularity and the hefty transaction fees, a plethora of rivals are vying to outperform Ethereum, with cheaper prices, better speeds, and more throughput. Rising speculation about potential ETH killers or Layer 1 blockchain competitors like Solana, Binance Smart Chain, and potentially Cardano becoming the market leaders has driven up the price of their respective tokens. However, according to researchers at Coinbase Institutional, which offers cryptocurrency analysis to major investors, Ethereum could be able to stave off the challengers. Other Layer 1 or base layer protocols may compete with Ethereum's Layer 2 or companion system, which works in tandem with the primary blockchain to accelerate transactions and reduce costs. Upgrades to Ethereum itself, such as the introduction of sharding and a complete switch from the existing proof-of-work system to a proof-of-stake blockchain may also be helpful. Users of decentralized applications or apps might stop hunting for quicker and less expensive Ethereum alternatives as the ecosystem scalability increases, according to a recent analysis by Coinbase Institutional. Ethereum may retain its throne, but Coinbase Institutional still anticipates several chains to coexist in the crypto world in the near term. According to the Coinbase Institutional study, we do think that the confluence of Layer 2 scaling solutions paired with enhancements like the beacon chain merging and sharding could limit progress for alternative Layer 1s in their current form. We now come to the end of the video. Indeed, things look promising for Ethereum 2.0 if they work as they should. What do you think? Do you also think Ethereum 2.0 could end Bitcoin's dominance? Let us know in the comments section below. Goodbye.